Good afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon in IATF in Brighton, and I'm here with current president, Margaret Sestai, and vice president, Harry Kucha Kucha. Would you like to tell us something about your life and profession outside IATF? Right. So um, I'm a teacher trainer. Uh, I'm Hungarian. I live and work in Budapest. And um, I work at Alta University. I work mostly with beginner teachers. So that, that's actually very close to my heart, um, pre-service teacher education. Um, yeah, very briefly, that's, that's um, what I do. That's my full-time job, working in pre-service teacher education. All right, thank you. Harry? Um, I'm a lecturer at the University of Bath in the UK. I come from Cameroon originally. Uh, so most of my work is uh, teaching and doing research in different aspects of language education, particularly in relation to young learners. But outside uh, the boring academia, I also do play drums from time to time so right, okay. to keep my brains in, in, in order. Yeah. Very nice and cool. I like music. <laughs> Um, now, we all know that you are president currently, but what's your sort of history with IATEFL? Which route did you take to become president? Well, well I, I am, my first ever IATEFL conference was in 1985, and it was here in Brighton, so right. it's really exciting for me to return to Brighton. I was yeah. then a beginner teacher in, in, in 1985. And then I was uh, a member off and on. I couldn't always afford to be a member. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And then I got more involved um, first with um, Global Issues SIG. I was the Global Issues SIG coordinator. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, no, I got mixed up. First, I was the Associates coordinator right. between 2003 and 2006. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time when I was on a committee post within ITEFL. Yeah. So th this was really a great opportunity for me to get to know a lot of teacher associations around the world, yeah. being the Associates coordinator. And then between 2013 and 2016, that's when I was the Global, global Issues Special Interest Group right. coordinator. So when I was actually thinking of applying for um, becoming vice president and then president, one of the things that really motivated me is that the, the global issues yeah. side, that was one of the things. And the other thing was to, to bring in the generation of young teachers, because mm -hmm. that's, that's, what I, that's my main job. Yeah. And then the third thing was to, to, to make ITEFL even more international, because it is international, yeah. it has been, but, but to, to make it even more international. Mm -hmm. These were my three main kind of um, part of the vision that I wanted to, to, to achieve. Great, and it's definitely going that way, isn't it? So. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. of course, it's the work of many people, and yes. but I, I, yeah, I think that, that it is, I mean, just looking around here at the conference, you can see that it is really, there's so many participants yeah. from Turkey and Argentina and so, and, and so many presenters as well, yes. Yes, not just yeah. uh, um, who, are, who are coming from different countries, different continents. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I think, yeah, I definitely, I think it is becoming more and more yeah. international. Mm -hmm. How about you, Harry? I know you also have history with the SIG, so how did you yeah. come up through ITEFL? Well, at first, my first ITEFL was in Aberdeen in 2007. At that time, I was uh, in the UK at Warwick University studying as a Hornby scholar. And I was part of the Hornby uh, presentation in, in United Phil in uh, Aberdeen. And then I did attend the YLT SIG Open Day and was very active there. And later that year, I was invited to join the committee. And I think it was an opportunity to have someone within the committee from Africa and yeah. trying to spread that around. And within my time, four years in the committee, there were events in, in, in Cameroon, mm -hmm. in India as well, which was something uh, the, the, the special interest group had not done uh, before. Mm -hmm. So that was great. And then I, I moved to the research SIG group when I came back here uh, as a student doing research at Warwick University again. And I joined the committee and worked for a couple of years and then also became a um, uh, part of the associates committee working with Les and then Lou now yeah. and that's that's fairly what I've done so in a, in a sense I've been around I've not had any very major role but I've been around the six and the committee two six and the committee and yeah. was very privileged to be invited to the strategic planning meeting uh, uh, late last year uh -huh. um, to, to brainstorm about the future of ITFL yeah. so so that's it that's my pathway and uh, to, to, 
maybe as a last word, I, I, I wasn't expecting to be ITF vice president at this point. In fact, I didn't nominate anyone because I really didn't know whom to nominate and I really didn't want to bother. I, I just thought I would vote for whoever is nominated. And then it happened that I was nominated. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. it's a wonderful opportunity for, for me to, 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 to share my own experiences yes. coming from an African perspective, but to share that with a wonderful team that exists already. Yeah. I've also had the privilege of attending one of the trustees meetings, and it's been very, very supportive. So I'm looking forward to an ITFO that's increasingly becoming uh, international outside Europe, uh, where it's well known, and hoping that uh, in the next four years, we would be able to, to attract as many more members from around the world and be engaged in ELT around the world as much as possible. Well, we're on the fourth day, third day, depending on whether you can have the mm -hmm. VCs or not. Tomorrow's the last day. Margaret, how's it gone? Well, it's been very off? busy because uh, as president, I haven't been able to attend that many sessions. But not it, the, the conference is not just a session. So I've no, talked exactly, to lots yeah. of people and made lots of just finding out about what's going on in ELT around the world. But um, I, I've attended all the plenaries mm -hmm. and all, I mean, the three that we've had so far and they've been really, really amazing. They so have, it's yes. really, yeah, thanks to the, the conference committee <laughs> because they're the ones who, who chose the plenary speakers. Um, this morning's was, was a very special yes. <laughs> plenary uh, by Britta Fernandez-Smith um, on this women to women movement and how it's just an awareness raising uh, yes. plenary on, on gender inequality and, and just, but what I really liked about it is the message that we can all make a difference yeah. mm -hmm. and that we can all get involved and, and, and do something. Yeah. And um, so actually we had, uh, after the plenary, um, the co-coordinators of the Global Issue Special Interest Group, yes. um, Julieta Schoenman and Linda Ruas, yes. uh, and the plenary speaker and I, we got together and we started to talk, how could we take this forward? Because obviously there was such a tremendous Re response and um, so we are planning to have a, a follow-up webinar soon Good. so to, to see how we can build partnerships and how our, our own special interest group can take these ideas forward yeah. Yeah. and any personal moments apart from plenaries you know any personal people you've talked to any special stories high points um, yeah. well for me a personal moment is that uh, my daughter is here attending the conference. Oh, right. she's, a, she's also a beginner teacher teaching in Vienna. Yeah, so she's, jo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's joined us for a couple of, and she's here as a participant, so it's not, not as my daughter. But right. so, yeah. so that for obviously for me, that's, that's special. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's special for me. The, another session that I attended was um, Nick Bilbro's Hands Up Project. Yes, okay. And, and yeah. we had a direct link with kids in Palestine yeah. who were actually performing a little skit, a little play for us. Yeah. And that was so touching as well. So that, 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 that was a very special moment. That, yeah. that technology allows us to do yes, that. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it was really exciting both ways yeah. for the kids as well to be seen and to be heard and for us as well. And they were amazing. And it, of course, it was showing us this project yeah. That, yeah. that Nick Bilbro has been doing. Yeah. So that, that was. But then just talking to lots of people, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. it has oh, very many special, really special moments. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Harry? Any well, highlights? Uh, yeah, <laughs> lots of highlights. I think <laughs> the, the, I, I won't talk a lot about the, the plenary speakers because it's just top class. And I think the conference committee did an excellent job in getting these people together. Mm -hmm. A few minutes ago, I was with John Agard uh, preparing tomorrow's session. And he's such a lovely fellow. I hope yeah. that people will stay back. Uh, tomorrow yeah. to listen to him because I spent about 30 minutes with him and just every minute of our time was a really, really intriguing, uh, exciting moment. I hope people will stay back. Um, outside the plenary speakers then, and oh, this morning, fantastic. There was a speaker, I think that's Judy Boyle at the YLTC yes. pre-conference yes. event. I've never been, I, I'm not very, at my, my attention span is very low. So I do, I do switch off from time to time. But that, she kept me 15 minutes with my mouth open, 
and tears coming down my eyes with that project, the mm. No Project. Yeah. And I know she has another session pr probably going on now. Mm. That is someone I want to go and see again. And of course, the Hornby Scholars session yesterday yeah. uh, was, was great for me. I'm, I'm, if Maggie probably knows, I'm very low tech. And so when we talk about technology, I, I tend to switch off because I come from a very rural community in my right, country. Yes. And it's something I'm excited about, but it's not something I think people would have in the next, probably not in my lifetime, to have the complex technology we talk about. But the Hornby School has brought technology to life, and it resonated so much with what we have mm -hmm. in those rural communities and how we can use that in ways that, that bring to our profession something different and help our learners develop more. So those are the things that I can yeah. remember, but there are lots of exciting things. It's, it just feels good to yes, be exactly, in yeah. an ITFL conference. And for me, uh, having been to a TESOL convention two weeks ago, mm -hmm. it feels even better now for me to be at an ITFL conference because it means there's a lot to learn. And I really wish I could go to lots of other sessions. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't bargain to be vice president, but now I'm in it and I've got to be to be, go to meetings yes. and <laughs> attend this interview <laughs> and talk to you when I could be enjoying myself. <laughs> but that's part of the thing, and our association has to go on, and we all have to support uh, this at one point in our life. And, and it's uh, very uh, interesting talking yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> so moving forward, you are... So moving forward, I will be. I I was vice president for a year. Then president, I've been president for a year, and I've got one more year as president. Yes. And then I we will be sw swapping over. Yes. Harry will be president, and I will be vice president for a last year as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm really Your excited conference. about it. I, I I think the the fact that we we have we have had that strategy review that yeah. John Burton was talking about a chief executive that uh, I think that's a real step forward and yeah. we will yeah. continue with that and um, yeah and I'm really pleased that Harry Kucha Kucha is joining <laughs> us because I think that for ITEPL to become even more international I think yes. it's important for the leadership to be more and more international as well because we have been a little bit Europe centered because most of us are from Europe so yeah. you know to, to bring in a different perspective you have to be a different more uh, you have to have a different background so so I'm, I'm really pleased about that that development as well mm -hmm. yeah and so we've got a great team of trustees mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just I, I look forward to working together and implementing all the the, the strategy points the, mm -hmm. the the website overhaul and um, maybe thinking about uh, starting some training as well. Uh, I mean, ITA for getting involved in some teacher training as well. We're, that's one of the things yes. we're investigating. Oh, okay. So lots of exciting mm. developments Great. happening, yeah. You ready for mm. Liverpool? Uh, yeah, quite ready, yeah. quite ready. <laughs> <laughs> and the more so because, uh, like I said uh, at the beginning, I've, I've been to one, um, uh, trustees meeting and it's it's it was great to to be there and we've interacted a lot during the conference mm -hmm. and I feel more comfortable now yeah. being part of that team and I, I feel like because in my heart I'm, I'm 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 a teacher and I feel more like a member of the association mm -hmm. and I think that in itself lends me to working as part of a team yeah. uh, and it's great to have a team of people who know exactly what what the association, where the association wants to go, and I'm really uh, glad and privileged to be to be part of that team. So I'm looking forward to to to, to Liverpool, but also looking beyond Liverpool yes. because I think it's uh, it's important for me to start thinking now, just not just in relation to next year, but how to, to fit into to, to Margaret's shoes because she's done an enormous job, and 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 and, and even then, and even before Margaret. Marjorie who's done a fantastic yeah. job as she was the first ITFL president who connected with me at, at a personal level right. uh, mm -hmm. through social media and she's been present. You know, coming from Africa, being in the middle of this massive organization yeah. to have this like from a president of our association <laughs> or this kind message or this birthday wish, wish that's something that I, I, I very much cherish and I think our membership needs to see that the leadership is part of them and we're yes. not a distance apart yeah, and that's absolutely. something that mm. that's that uh, Maggie as well as has carried on and I think yeah. I can only keep going in that direction mm. and and 
picking up from that and doing the little I can do because it's everyone's association, not just yes, one well, person's. I think it was David Crystal mentioned that the F of IATEFL could be for family. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course, and I agree. And I, I think it actually is. And within the, the trustees, I think that is what it is. And I think it yeah, will get I infectious. I was actually saying that today at the, because David Crystal in a recent blog post was calling Aeta for his family. Yes. <laughs> and, and so I was saying this morning at the, when, um, at the beginning of the day, how um, David Crystal is, like there's some dignitaries who just kind of whiz in and out. Yes. They come yeah. in and they, for the ceremonial part and then they disappear. But David has been such a fantastic support to yes. Aeta and he's so approachable. So I yeah. think a lot of yeah. members yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. But, but not just David, but everybody's approachable yeah. here. So it's, it's not like, oh, I'm a, just a, like a, yeah. an author of yeah. such and such. That we, I think we together we managed to create this culture of a, yeah. a very Thank friendly, you. inclusive yeah. community. Yeah. And that's what, that's what we would want to continue doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, certainly I yeah. and I think Harry is. Yeah. As well. well yeah. Thank you for maintaining the tradition. It's been thank great you. to speak to you. Thank uh, you. Okay, nice to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.